What's up guys? Welcome back to Back Road Driver. We're the Miser Brothers. I'm Brad. And I'm Sam. And today's, oh wait a minute, you're leading the video today. Go ahead, yeah. tell them what we're doing. <laughs> today, we're gonna chase some gremlins in the wolf. We've got some random misfires and we're gonna change some spark plugs, start with the easy stuff and uh, see if uh, we got a bigger problem or just a little problem. This could go anywhere from we got a bad spark plug or a wrong gap in a spark plug to our coil packs may have a problem and it's hard to chase down which one that is based off of how the code is being thrown. We're not getting a specific cylinder and it could be as bad as. Uh, we could get into injectors or we could have mechanical problems if it's uh, not any of the above. So yep. let's see what we got guys. We're gonna find out either way. Already pulled two plugs. Um, coil packs look to be fine. Of course, you never know with these until one's bad and you gotta replace it. There's no real way to check these. Spark plugs wise, um, one of these looks like it's running a little lean. Um, you can see the lighter color there. Um, We're talking about this one. Yeah. It's got a little white to it. Um, you know, the electrodes look fine and everything, but uh, we'll get them all out take a look at them um, sometimes you can't tell I mean you've got to look and uh, check for cracks in the porcelain or anything but uh, you know we're just gonna change them out and see what we get so what you're doing is you're removing this is a coil pack back here you had one here and one here Remove the coil pack and then go down in and and uh, screw the spark plug out the ones on the front of the engine not a problem the ones back in the back I mean, you're talking about way on that supercharger's hot. I'm talking about way back there. So it's going to be a pain in the rear. I love that. Don't you love that? It's fun when it works. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get all these changed out. We'll show you all the spark plugs here in just a second. All right, seven down and one to go. So we're going to get this back one over here. And pull the, uh, the boot off here. He already had that screw out, obviously. We're going to stick this down in. <clears throat> Furthest one away. All right. Got it broke loose. This is the easy side. So the driver side has the most room even with a supercharger. So if you're changing your spark plugs yourself, I always recommend to do the hard side first. That way when you're finishing up, you're not doing the hard side. <laughs> problem is is usually it doesn't matter whichever uh, one you're doing last is always the hardest right <laughs> <laughs> all right we got her pulled out let's go over here to the bench take a look at it all right so as I pulled the plugs I laid them all out here in order um, passenger side and driver side um, none of them look terrible but as you can see there's a few of them it looked like they could have been running a little lean, not sure, but, um, you know, I don't see any cracks in the ceramic. They all look like they should be working. This is the last one, and uh, they're supposed to be gapped at 025 on this supercharged truck, and it is correct. Um, what we're going to do, though, I've got brand new ones. And I've done this on the last seven. So I've got pre-gapped these. And uh, what are we gapping to? 025. That's pretty tight for most uh, vehicles, but on supercharged truck, you're, these are actually a step colder than uh, you would normally run. And they're also um, gapped a little tighter because we're uh, using forced induction and uh, the pressure inside the cylinder is quite a bit more, so we don't want pre-detonation or anything. 
So we put some mounting C's on there. These and, are NGK Iridium mm -hmm. plugs. I recommend you use this style or maybe some feelers uh, for uh, gapping spark plugs with this type of tip on the Iridium. The old disc coin style, uh, using those you can break that tip and uh, then you got a bad spark plug. So I recommend using one of these. Sam's gonna finish getting that back in. That's number eight. Then we're gonna fire this thing up. We know it's gonna run. We don't know if we're still gonna have that misfire. So that's what we'll do a data log to test. But we did have some friends show up, a young YouTube fan, and we're gonna rev the wolf up for him. He's been wanting to hear the open exhaust in person. It is a totally different experience. So we'll get his reaction here in just a second on camera. Uh, but we should have her started up here in just a minute. We are going to run this thing down the road with a data log and see if we're still getting that misfire. Um, if we're not, we're good. If we are, we got to keep going. So we're all buttoned up now. All the spark plugs are back in. We're going to start this thing up for Noah here. And uh, then we're going to take it down the road and see if we got any progress. Noah, what number of subscriber were you to Back Road Driver? I don't know, but I was one of the first. Like top 10? Yeah, sure. Top 10 fans right here, guys. Let's fire it up. First, we're going to, Noah, I'm going to have you walk over here and kind of cover yours a little bit. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to start it up and send the exhaust out the back first. We do have the door cracked a little bit. We're not trying to bust his eardrums. And then we're going to flip the shutouts open. All right, hold on. Stand right there. There you go. So that's straight out the back. That's All right. great. All right, now hold on, we're not done. Come right here. Sam's gonna flip the switch and open the cutout. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Yeah! <laughs> we got a decimal meter. Come back here with that. All right, this is where it comes out. Go ahead. 114 and a half. Go ahead and kill that thing. I'm about to die. All right, let's go out on the road now and see if we fix our misfire. So Sam's gonna get us into fourth gear and we're gonna go from 2000 RPMs to 6000 RPMs. So he's gotta put it in manual mode, shift down on the shifter handle. This is our RTD. Um, HP Tuner's platform where we can see all the numbers. So as soon as he takes off, I'm gonna hit the record button and, uh, or when he tells me go, and when he tells me stop, I'll hit the blue button and we'll stop. And then we'll have a log to send Oz at, uh, or Ken Oz at um, Oz Tuning. You ready? Yep. Let's see if we still misfire. Go ahead and hit it. Oh, we are. Yep. Got it. I didn't hear anything. Sounded good. Uh, we didn't get any misfires that time. So we may have fixed the problem by changing the spark plugs. Um, just by looking at them, you couldn't tell anything was bad. But uh, yeah, normally when I uh, tried to run that same scenario for a data log, I was hearing a lot of misfires at the top end and uh, I would even get a code uh, for random misfire. That's uh, P0300. Um, so it wasn't telling me which cylinder to go look for. So all we could do is go change all the plugs. So hopefully this has fixed it guys. Noah wants to hear the cutouts, open headers, going down the road under load. So now that we know our spark plugs are good, let's let him hear it. Wow, that's awesome. It's a smile maker. We'll send this log to Ken, see what he says and uh, make some more adjustments. Keep dialing this thing in and you're gonna see the wolf eat. We're going to eat some muscle cars real soon. We'll catch you guys in the next one.
Peace. Peace.